Hello everyone, it's Clemmy. I'm back to share with you a quick little flip of this journal that I've created. Um, uh, it was supposed to be a handbag purse journal, but um, I had a few issues that I'm going to show you guys once I get into the inside of it. Um, so it's not that, but it does help kind of hold it instead of just like having it there. Or um, I thought about cutting these off they can be, you know, cut off and you don't have to worry about that. But here's the front on the cover. This is one of um, Nectar's creations um, images. And it's just a Tim Holtz hitch post that um, keeps it closed with some seam binding. You just hook it over like so. Um, I've got some rosette trim down the side and some layered lace. And there's the back of it. Okay, so the top is a little pullout tag. And it says, this book belongs to, and the story begins tag. And that goes in behind there. I also have another little hidden spot for a tag. But I did not line it because um, I began to be, I, I got a little frustrated with the journal. I'm going to show you guys. So you open it up. And this is the inside. However, this is supposed to be the inside. Okay. And I didn't even finish because I would have gone in and done a little more decorating here. But I didn't finish that. But this is supposed to be the inside. Okay. But because this is so hard, when the journal closed, it, um, it tore free from the binding right there. Okay. And that just popped out. I've got two tags. And they're lined on the back. I also have a large tag here that just says memories. Um, this is also Nectar's Creations image. And this flips over. And this should be a quick flip, you guys. I'm going to rush through this. This is supposed to be this layout because this part pops open and you have your three-page layout which is part of uh, this problem because I've got some manila file folder and it's just too hard so that it was unyielding. That's, that's why it popped out. I've got an envelope behind that pocket. There's a pocket for this little tag that I didn't finish. Like I said, after this, you guys, I was a little bit frustrated. I didn't want to go back in and finish that. And also this pulls out and you can add a photo there. And this little thing that looks so weird is supposed to be the guide where you place your photo. And when you put it back in, it lines up so you know where to place your photo. We're going to put that to the side. Okay. And this is the layout that I did with um, for um, Dolly over at uh, Gypsy Rose Papery. This just pulls out. That tag pulls out. There's another tag. And the back, this pops out behind that little rose mirror. There's that page. And this is um, Artie Mays' um, tag pocket. And I've just got another little tag, another little pocket in that tag. And that pops back in. I can get my hand on it it does okay there's the back of that and this is my little trifold um, flip pocket that does pop open these pockets three pockets there and a large tag at the back that pops open folds out for a complete page of journaling that holds it down I think no, I, I, um, yeah, that is a little tuck spot. Okay. A little um, tag. Let's see. Yeah, I lined it. And I made another one of my little um, envelope booklets out of the envelope from the kit. This is um, Dreams, etc. Okay, this is from the kit. I mean, this is the little journal. I did line all the pages of it, but I took one of these um, cards that go in the envelope and used it to make a pocket, and these go inside the pocket. Let 
and they go inside the pocket. This little bling, the word inspire, also from Dreams, etc. Got some tags lined. And this says, dance like nobody's watching, Pride and Prejudice, and they are dancing. Live, love, laugh, little tags. More tags. This is a pocket. This is ephemera from um, Tsunami Rose. This is uh, Mind Barity. And this page, um, I've got a little um, a little pocket flip that I have created. This will um, open up for journaling. This large tag pulls completely out, and it's what's holding this pocket here closed, or this flap closed. So that pulls straight out. There's the, um, it's all lined, and you have a full page of journaling. There's this tag, it is lined, and you have that. Now, this uh, piece goes behind here, okay? And that's how the pocket is kept closed. It will go behind there and into this part right here, and that keeps it closed. There's that. Uh, Dreams of Cetera's flower pocket. That won't let me go in with the paper clip. Some tags. This is a pocket. Some ephemera from Artie Mays. And this will move out of the way for that journaling. Little tag. This came from Susan, um, her Facebook page, and I have a larger one. I just uh, printed off different sizes of it. This is my, um, another flip fold out. These are Artie Mazes Digis. This piece is Tsunami Rose. Okay, that pops up, that flips, folds down and over for a complete page of journaling. That goes back in to keep that pocket closed. Um, this is the center of the page. I've just uh, made a little fabric pocket. And these are Tsunami Roses calendars. Another um, one of Tsunami Rose's Jane Austen line pages. And this is Mind Barity, and that does flip up. This is also Mind Barity. This is Dreams, etc. This is a pocket, I mean, a, a belly band. I made use one of her large tags to make a belly band. Some ephemera from Tsunami Rose, and they go into where it's hidden. You line it up and you can't tell that they're there. There's a pocket, and this is the larger uh, piece that I got off of um, Susan from SM Tiffany Lane, her um, Facebook page, or her Facebook group. This pops out, lined at the back. This is some embossing, this is a flower and butterfly. This little booklet. That's a pocket. This flips all the way over for that journaling. There are pockets on, I mean, tags, dreams, etc., dreams, etc., dreams, etc., and Artie Mays. Journaling, dreams, etc., and I think Pinterest. And that's Artie Mays. I mean, not Artie Mays. That's Tsunami Rose. 
goodness gracious. On the roll here. We've got another little, little envelope from Dreams, etc. It just has that tag. And I downsized one of Dreams, etc.'s pages. I'm sorry, you guys. I keep bumping my camera and just made a little booklet. And this just came from my stash. This is um, a Mind Verity. Some blank pages. This is um, Dreams, etc., as well as this little card. And I think this is um, Finnebar. Uh, I can't think of it right now, you guys. Okay. To the end of the journal. Just about. This is also from the tutorial that I did for Dolly. That large tag comes from um, Dreams, etc., as well as this image. And just some um, uh, scrap pieces of paper behind. And you have this page that that's hooked on to. Now, when I got to the end of the journal, the front um, tore apart and the back tore apart as well. Okay, my little journal was just too stuffed. So that's supposed to go in like so because these both um, pull up and you have the um, mirrored journaling pages. And that was supposed to be the end of it. And I haven't finished these because at this point, you guys, I was just too done with this journal. I know we have all been there before. So I just, I have a generous pocket behind so I just stuck it in there just like so okay so this is the thing this is what's a little bit different okay I have a lot of journals um so I do not need another journal plus whenever I do a Jane Austen for myself I am gonna go crazy with it and um just have a probably really thick crazy um Jane Austen journal I do not want this journal so, um, if anyone is interested in purchasing this journal, these can, uh, come off, uh, purchasing this journal, I'm going to leave my email, um, in the description box below. So just, um, just send me an email and, um, offer whatever you want to pay for it. Uh, plus shipping, which will probably be about, uh, it shouldn't be any more than 10 bucks. So just include that and just make me an offer in it and, um, I'll send this out to you. Um, kind of weird, kind of odd, but anyway, that's just how I'm feeling right now. Thank you all for watching.